WDSU first warning weather and we're going to start with our temperatures, but before then got a little rain over the weekend. Not every sun on Sunday, but today tomorrow going to be our hottest days before we're going to start to bring back likelier rounds of widespread storm activity and we kind of need this. We've been getting a little dry as August has been pretty thin. Real time temperatures here. You can see that we're all into the 90s or at least well, not everybody, but 88 Galliano, Grand Isle and Beerus at 88, 87, 87. Everybody else into the 90s to the 91 Belt Chase 93 here. Hammond's at 89 too. Dew points, we got a mixture of some 60s. That's the hottest spot to Bogalusa, but 70s elsewhere, jumping right into a forecast. We'll show that the next hot days tomorrow, but look at temperatures going back down close to or just below the average high, which is down to 91. And the rain chances increase to bring those temperatures down. We could use the rain, so this isn't a terrible thing. Hey, why not just get an early start of looking at this Labor Day weekend forecast? They got temperatures still hovering right around that average and maybe only a slim chance of an isolated storm to catch that last day at the pool with the kids and the family, right? Or doing a cookout, whatever you want to do. High pressure in the core of the heat is actually to the Midwest. Excessive heat warnings, heat advisories. A little system that's spinning around Texas that's been giving us that south flow in storm activity. Look at that wave of storm activity forecast more into Wednesday. That's the next likeliest round of rain. That's the high pressure and the heat dome is going to go just a little bit more east to keep on funneling in that little bit of a south flow and the humidity associated with it. Doppler radar, let's go to WDSU first warning weather Doppler radar suit we've got for the way of rain activity right now. And as we put that in action, not a whole lot. It's still near home is about the only thing I'm seeing at this time from this vantage point. Well, a couple of showers popping up right there as you go to St. Charles and Lafouche Parish too and Lafouche to Terrebonne Parish. So that's the only rain I can find at this time. There's been a couple of showers trying to develop lower plaquemines that are well off into the Gulf. So there isn't a whole lot out there. I'm expecting this picture to look similar to what we've got in towards tomorrow there as well. So we go back to the Doppler radar from this vantage point and let's get a real specific high risk forecast over the next two days. Starting off with the 70s for most tomorrow morning, 82 around the lake. And here's the storm activity likely is along the coast once again, but only about a 20 30% chance of an isolated shower to possible storm throughout the day. Lots of those high temps to be back up 93 here, 94 Slidell, 96 Bogalusa, Boothville, Grand Isle, Galliano, right around 90 tomorrow. Let's go into Wednesday's forecast and look at this a wave of some humidity by Wednesday morning. Looks to be widespread storm activities possible. Going to bump up the rain chances to about a 60% chance for all of southeast Louisiana and Pearl River Hancock County going into the forecast between Wednesday, Thursday. Those look to be the rainiest days with high temperatures reflecting the higher chance of rain. 88s to the Gulf Coast there and as you head to 90 and 91 a little farther north with the even cloud cover associated with it. There's a look at more slugs of moisture and humidity still continuing to the forecast through the Labor Day weekend, but high pressure kind of settles right on into us as we get towards the end of the Labor Day weekend of Labor Day itself. So that's where the rain chances start to go down. Temps ticking up a bit, but not too terrible. Take a look at the tropics. It has still been awfully quiet. A couple of tropical waves I'll watch in this area of low pressure is going to go into Central America, but there are some forecast data that want to keep an eye on this little tropical wave. The potential as we get to Labor Day on Monday that could be developing something that's still well east of the Lesser Antilles by then. We'll keep close watch, but officially nothing over the next seven days from the NHC. Seven day outlook here. Slim chance of the rain tomorrow with the heat up to 93, but then scattered storms expected to lead us right into the Labor Day weekend.